Alright guys, welcome back to you, Valorant News, another massive set of updates overnight, especially with regard to this NRG roster, some big rumours emerging over the last couple of days that maybe Aspas and Sadak could be joining here, some are saying such as FNS, this team is the scariest team in the Americas, but then Tarek made an interesting comment and said that, well, who is the brain man on this supposedly leaked roster? That would have been Sadak in a normal scenario, but now that aligns a little bit more with a brand new rumour, and that's Demon1 and Ethan, world champions on Evil Geniuses, potentially to this new NRG team. Who would in-game lead? How would this potentially work if this roster comes true? Very much on Twitter, your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new as always. Now, firstly, if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, Sentinels confirmed their in-game leader, John QT. He's going to be the man, the mystery eye gel, as they described it. People are saying it's basically the Moroccan tens, so, you know, pretty funny stuff to be fair. And as he says, thanks for all the kind words. I worked hard to get it and I will not disappoint. So, yeah, John QT believes this is the team that they're going to take all the way to the top. Now, Evil Geniuses have been a big talking point in the last few days for very good reason. And to be fair, there's been many teams that made questionable decisions so far. We mentioned the fact that EG, by delaying it, releasing those players, have um, in many ways kind of screwed them over here. In the same way that Cloud9, right? let's not forget, Cloud9 MCE, the coach, he was building the team. He was making statements about how the team was going to go. And then, you know, they drop him, right? So you know, options for him in terms of coaching from a coaching perspective are not as much as they would have been before. So it's like, if you know you're going to make a decision, it's better to make it so you don't screw over your players. But maybe the organization sometimes don't care about this stuff, especially when this is actually a really good spot here from Baller. So Evil Genius has said back on September the 6th that thanks to all of our like players on the sub bench, thanks for your help. We couldn't have done it without you and um, off you go. You know, feel free to go into the wilderness and choose your own roster. Turns out that apart from the players that the contracts ended on, so Reformed and Icy, their contract was over so they weren't going to stay anyway. The other players are still there. Like, they're still on the team and they're still looking to try and trade these guys. So, you know, they might say that, you know, for example, BCJ, they might say these guys are free to go, but yet they still want to get a buyout for them if they can. So, yeah, it's questionable stuff. And, I mean, sure, they're not exactly like they can't do this, but when you're going to put out a nice PR statement as if, like, oh, thanks for your help, guys. Like, wish you the best of your next adventures. But actually, they're like, no, we are going to be restricting your movements here. And, um, yeah, maybe there's a buyout that comes. Maybe it doesn't. But uh, we're going to try and get every single penny that they can. So, yeah, again, questionable business practices from Evil Genius is, are you surprised? I'm not surprised. It is what it is. Now, Leviathan, they are a team in conversation for Aspas right now. And there was a pretty big rumor yesterday that Leviathan were trying to pay Aspas some, like, they want to pay him a lot of money, of course, to be on their roster. But they were also trying to give him... The initial story was they were trying to give him a percentage of the organization, like give him ownership in the team as like to try and make him a join, which um, it turns out you can't actually do this, right? Right, don't allow you to do this. What they will offer him, and I believe what they can offer him is a percentage of, let's say, shirt sales, right? So people are buying um, an Aspas jersey or just a Leviathan jersey in general. He's going to get a percentage of that. So apparently they've come to Aspas with a quite comprehensive proposal and said, look, we are the best option for you. You're going to be gone from Loud. Basically, Aspas didn't want to sign the Loud deal. Loud, we don't know if it was player stuff with like less or if there was drama there, but we think it was mainly organizational related. Loud, the contract terms didn't agree with Aspas. So um, he's now looking at maybe NRG, maybe Bleed Esports, and uh, maybe Leviathan, maybe others as well. But this is a quite compelling uh, agreement. So Leviathan are going all out, it seems, to try and get Aspas to join them, which would be really interesting if that happened for next season. But also a big confirmation last night, Som is gone from NRG. They officially confirmed this. They haven't confirmed FNS yet. I believe that Som's contract was maybe ending anyway. So that's kind of just how it was going to go. And FNS might be an announcement soon, or they might just see where they go with that one. But yeah, Soma did such a good job for this team, given the fact that he was expected to be, at least the general perception was, he was just going to be like a B-Tech version of Marv. You know, he was just going to be dollar store Marv, and he was going to be like in Marv's role, but not playing as well as Marv did. But I've really liked Tom ever since I watched him from the CS days. Like he's been a really promising player and he played so well this last season, right? And he was one of their best players, hands, 
hands down on this NRG team, even this most recent season. Absolutely. But um, they're parting ways. Som is going to be gone from the roster. And as Chet says, going to miss you, Sam. We moved to this game together. Sad things didn't work out. Best of luck. And you know, obviously, sake emoji. See what the reply is. I will just share what Som has to say on this because he does mention his future and FNS's future as well. They want to be a duo. They want to go somewhere else to a new team and be a duo. And look... If the Americas was, let's say the Americas wasn't one league, but it was two leagues and it was North American League and South American League, I think there's a very good chance that some organization in those leagues would say, look, SOM, FNS, we're happy for you guys to just build the roster you want. We'll give you the keys, do what you want. The reality is though, with all the other, you know, only five kind of North American teams really, it means that getting that chance and for someone at FNS to get what they want, which is they can build a team and decide, especially FNS, what they're going to do with it, they're probably not going to get that chance. So as a result, they're going to bide their time. And if they didn't have a streaming presence that they could make good money from, they would not do this and they would take the offer that they apparently have on the table. But it's maybe not good enough for them to consider. Maybe it's a tier two offer, right? But then again, maybe not just because FNS said that he's never going to play in challenges. So maybe it's a tier one offer, but a tier one offer that they're not particularly keen on, maybe in another region or something. But um, yeah, for now, they are not going to play. Some does say though, he will be back. But it's just going to be a matter of time. Are you considering any offers at the moment? Um, I had one that I was, I guess, kind of interested in. And obviously with John. And honestly, like, if we didn't have our streams, we would have taken it. But right now, right now the way the economy is in franchise and the way next year looks, it doesn't make sense for John and I to rush to find a team to compete. So right now we're just waiting and if the time comes then we'll come back but by no means does this mean we're retiring because i promise you this i will be back i will be back on stage i don't know when but i will be back so i hope som lands on his feet right but it's just you know difficult to look at a player as good as som potentially not gonna play in the league next season just because of the way things are working out behind the scenes right now especially on the um you know on the nrg side so wishing both of those best we don't have the confirmation from fns yet but that's probably coming soon as well unless he stays as nrg as like a content guy which is seemingly not the case here for som now let's talk nrg Evil geniuses, we know questionable stuff going on. Ethan is gone. The entire team is potentially going to be gone. They could return if, you know, buyouts aren't found. But as it stands, this we believe is going to happen. Now, the other day we discussed this potential super team roster being formed. Now, FNS described this as, pack your bags, you can't beat this team. Then Tarek actually commented this on stream and said, because I think FNS had sent it to him. He was like, well you know, good team, but who's the brain man, you know? And that was like, well, hang on a second. I thought Sadak was going to be on that team, who's clearly going to be the IGL in that case. So there's a possibility there's a different situation going on here. And I did mention it to you guys, I'm pretty sure yesterday morning, and I was like, don't be surprised if NRG Demon 1 is a possibility. And um, according to Flynn's latest spreadsheet, that is now the big rumor of the day. So there's a few things here. I will say that Boostio has now been moved to likely for 100 Thieves. So that now becomes seemingly a pretty damn good chance that Boostio is going to be a man for them. Com is now in a rumored situation now for 100 Thieves. Also Cloud9. We've got Whippy maybe making a return. And I mean, look, I'm looking at this Cloud9 team. I know that Zels has commented on this Cloud9 team and said, oh, you know, it's going to make the fans happy. But like this team is so underwhelming. Though. Like if this is the team of five for Cloud9, okay, I'm excited for Oxy. And I think Jake can improve. And sure, Vanity coming back is nice. But you know, if it's Whippy, Jake, Vanity, Zephyr, Oxy, like that's not a particularly... It might be good, but it's not, it doesn't set the world on fire as far as I'm concerned. So we have been discussing this NRG roster with Victor Crashy's Marved. It's pretty clear we think that it's going to be Victor Crashy's Marved. Marved has now moved to likely here. Maybe he did a couple of days ago actually on the spreadsheet. So that's probably going to be how it is. And Marved has gone from Sen, we know that. So NRG Marved just makes way too much sense. Question is, how do you round out the roster? Aspas Salak is an option, but Salak could well stay with Laos. That's also an option as well. He has to weigh up his decisions. And with Evil Genius's players available, you've got to consider them as well. If Demon 1 is on the market, best player in the world, whatever you want to say, you've got to consider it. Now, not like Aspas is a bad option either, but, um, you know, Demon 1 is now a rumor here, as is Ethan. 
and this would be quite the duo to join NRG as a potential team of exactly this. Now, I will say, this is a tweet from Exalt that I mentioned. This came out on the you know, morning of the September the 12th. So this is a couple of days ago now. And he said this exact five. And there was a question as to, I didn't think this was real, but I, I could see some merit in this. But I thought that, you know, this is one of these bait tweets that comes to the ground from time to time. But um, apparently not. This is now the new rumor. Now, there's other rumors, such as the Asper Salak thing. But this is one of the rumors that it's going to be Victor Crush's Marvs with Demon 1 and E. Ethan, arguably the two best players really on that evil genius's team towards the end of the most recent season. It's a deadly squad on paper. The question is, who's going to call the shots on this team? Who's going to in-game lead? Who is the brain man, as uh, Tarek might describe? Marv did that job. He was kind of forced into that job on um, Sentinels. I don't know if that's his preference, although he might be keen to I feel the most likely candidate here would be Ethan, actually, to in-game lead this. I know that people are probably saying that Marv would, if this is the team of five. I think Ethan might be keen to step into that role, just because he has done it before he's played with great IGLs in his time. And last year on 100 Thieves, he did do the IGLing for a little bit. He wasn't, you know, great necessarily. Like he wasn't, um, you know, they weren't absolutely on fire at that time before, of course, Stella came in and they changed tack and Ethan went a different way. But still, Ethan does have a propensity to do this. He might feel like he's learned enough now to make it work. And I mean, look, on paper, that team is just pretty damn ridiculous to get. I mean, it's kind of the best of EG with the optic core. You can't really say no to an opportunity like that, I suppose, if if it comes around. So, yeah, what do you guys think about this brand new team of five, especially Demon 1 to, you, to NRG is a potentially massive scout. But that's the thing. So many options on the table out here right now. And Demon 1 and Aspas and others will be getting offers from all sorts of teams across the planet. But, uh, yeah, maybe NRG is the best option for those guys. And on paper, looks like one of the, if not the best team in the Americas going into next season, if that comes true which it may well not but we'll see how it goes over the coming days very much interested in your thoughts in the comments hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new i think we're just about at 53,000, so we've been absolutely flying over the last couple of days take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time all right who's ready who's ready Who's ready? Who's ready for the announcement? Join Fnatic as a content creator, pussies.